hey guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so i'm gonna do this no crack no start issue that i had with this vehicle a couple of days ago so essentially um i was using the 12 volt port for um, a lot of stuff charging my uh, phone i also had another plug that was charging my tablet and I didn't think much of it, but I was uh, using it all day, actually, um, driving around here and there and um, parked at a Wendy's to get something to eat. Got a crispy chicken sandwich and some fries. Um, they were really good. I uh, So I, 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 I after I ate, I, I went out to try to start my car and I noticed that it didn't... Uh, there was a no crack, no start issue. And um, everything else would work. And I immediately, because I had this situation with another vehicle before with the 12 volt socket. Yeah, sometimes if you overload it, it'll keep the vehicle from starting. Sometimes it'll keep the vehicle from locking. A lot of the issues uh, caused by that problem, but I took, uh, took the 12 volt socket out and I was hoping that that would fix the issue, but it didn't. I tried to turn on, it didn't. So I, uh, I was uh, scratching my head over that, and I was looking, um, I was looking, checking at the battery just to see if the battery was any good, and uh, turn on the headlights to see if the lights were bright and the lights were bright. Uh, I remember changing the battery out like a couple months ago. Bought the battery from from uh, Walmart and uh, I didn't think it was the battery but I, I, I checked it anyway I uh, looked at all the all the, uh, the the both connectors the positive negative just to make sure that they were clean and tight and they were clean and tight um, the battery seemed to be good the lights the headlights were good so I didn't think too much of uh, the uh, the battery being the problem and um, uh, after that I checked out the ground wire to see whether the ground wire is the issue and it wasn't you know the ground wire was fine it was 100 percent connected to the frame there was no rust on anything like that and i was really um uh i was really stumped by the situation really so uh i was thinking maybe it could be like um maybe the starter that was the problem but uh funny thing is i had the the the, the starter was swapped out maybe like a year and a half ago on this vehicle and uh, it was swapped out about a year and a half ago into the vehicle, and I, I kind of didn't think that that was the problem because I, it wasn't a manufacturer. We manufactured. In fact, I actually uh, got the starter as an old original to the vehicle, so it was an original starter. It was brand new. Uh, was put in correctly. Then never had an issue with a, a no crank, no start uh, up and out and up until that time. So I was thinking to myself, all right, so let's. Um, it's probably nothing serious, right? There's, a, there's an auto zone like a couple blocks away and uh, hopefully it's like a fuse or a relay or something like that. So I looked at the, f the, the fuse box and I was like, mm, let me just um, swap out the, uh, the starter relay. I tried to find where the starter relay was and I swapped out the starter relay one for another one that was, um, I forget what it was connected. I forget what the other relay I was used for. Maybe it was for the blower motor or something like that. I swapped it out and... And I uh, really didn't do much to change anything. So I was thinking to myself, <sighs> I got to figure out like what all the, you know, whether the fuses were blown or not. You know, because I couldn't really do any testing on, on the relays outside of that. But I know that if a fuse blew, definitely could cause the situation. I wasn't quite sure which, which fuse blew. But um, there was... Uh, a harbor freight there was a strip mall so there was a harbor freight around so i actually went to harbor freight to get a um a fuse tester and uh it was like four bucks or whatever really inexpensive i came back to the car and i one by one i actually went through the fuses one by one i went through all the fuses and i came across this fuse right here now uh in some vehicles it's called the engine control module in the ecm fuse but in other vehicles it could be called the 
engine control. Um, what is it called? <sighs> yeah, the uh, engine control ignition fuse. Um, so it, it kind of depends on which vehicle you have, but um, uh, it really, really depends on which vehicle you have and, and what the uh, year your vehicle is. And uh, this situation could pretty much be for, uh, you know, all manufacturers of cars and stuff like that. If you guys have this issue um, where you guys have a no crank, no start, sometimes a crank, no start situation, you guys should definitely check out um, all your fuses. And uh, particularly, a lot of times this fuse gets blown. Um, it's a very, very easy fix. Um, you could just pop the fuse out pop the fuse in I, in fact i actually went to harbor freight got a box of different size fuses they have all assortments of fuses and stuff like that and uh swap out that fuse popped it in and um essentially what that fuse um is for it essentially protects the uh, the car's main electrical systems from from overloads but um uh, sometimes it's called the engine control fuse, sometimes it's called the engine ECM fuse, sometimes it's called the engine uh, control ignition fuse. It really depends on which car you have, like I said before, and which, um, uh, you know, what uh, whether your cars are recent or late or models or whatever. They, they come in different names, but uh, most cars these days have ECM and ECUs, and there's a fuse for the ECM and ECUs. If you guys have older cars, it would be called the engine control ignition um fuse but in any case it's an easy fix all right if you guys have this problem uh definitely you know run run through your fuses make sure that all your fuses are good and that uh, there's no blown fuses because a blown fuse will cause no crank no start issues it will cause crank no start issues and uh best thing about fuse issues is um, for the most part, they're e very, very, very easy to to fix, and uh, the causes of them could be a bunch of things. I think it might have been maybe because I overloaded the 12 volt uh, socket uh, with. Uh, let me see the, the the charger jack. The, the the jack on it had like two USB connectors to it, and uh, I actually connected uh, my phone and my my tablet. And uh, I believe I also used a uh, one of these 140 volt uh, inverters on an, on another uh, 12 volt socket too. So th there were two of them, and I used one for that, and I used the other one for 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 the 120 volt to, to charge something else up. And uh, I I'm pretty sure that would have had like a uh, you know that would have caused that that fuse to blow or, or some other fuse to blow but that was the fuse that blew and uh easy fix didn't need a tow didn't need to um do much except swap out the fuse uh hopefully uh this hopefully whatever causes your car's issue definitely um hope that uh Hope that whatever's causing your car's issue could be this issue or could be something that's easy to fix. But uh, if you guys have your own personal um, experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.